Announced during the Nintendo Switch 2's big reveal, GameCube games are now officially added to the roster of classic titles available with a Nintendo Switch Online subscription. 24 years and 4 console generations on, Nintendo is finally able to tap into a truly rich, much beloved catalogue on its new platform. Here's what we're getting on Switch 2. To start anyway, at least 10 GameCube titles will be available, each with the promise of enhanced resolutions, faster loading times, and even online play if there's a multiplayer mode. The games actually shown in the Nintendo Direct all hail from 2003 in their Western release and truly defined the system's incredible range. Firstly, there's F-Zero GX, still considered one of the all-time greats of a racing series that's sadly been absent in recent times. We have the iconic The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker in its original GameCube form, and finally, Soul Calibur 2, a third-party release from Namco with a pinch of Nintendo magic thanks to the inclusion of Link as a playable character. It's great news, and expands an already broad library of emulated ports on Nintendo's online service, ranging from NES to Game Boy to N64, where GameCube is of course the next logical addition. The only snag is that this GameCube back compat support is exclusive to just Nintendo Switch 2, meaning you'll have to make the hardware jump from your original Switch to access these games. The GameCube games are running in emulation with their own set of enhancements, starting with the resolution boost to 900p. In Wind Waker, F-Zero GX and Soul Calibur 2, we're getting a native 1280x900 picture with a limited form of anti-aliasing in place, which is then scaled to the maximum 4K output possible on Switch 2. The boost from the original's native 480p to 900p may not apply to every GameCube title, but it is true of these three at least. Also good news is that widescreen support is now confirmed to be available here as well, if it was originally supported in-game. Hence, by adjusting the settings in F-Zero GX or Soul Calibur 2, we're able to remove the black pillars to either side to max out a 16 to 9 display. The catch there is that the 1280 by 900 pixel structure of their default 4 to 3 aspect ratio mode simply stretches across that wider visible window, with no res increase horizontally from 1280. Impressively, we'll even be able to enjoy games like F-Zero GX Online, something that was never possible on the GameCube original. How well Netplay will run in practice remains to be seen, and if lag will be a factor with the game chat integration in place as well. Still, for slower paced games like Zelda Four Swords Adventures, as shown during the Nintendo Treehouse sessions, it looks like an effective way to run through each puzzle with friends. Having all of these GameCube games accessible today is a hugely welcome move. Also, perhaps inevitably, frame rates are locked in place to their original caps, much like we see on the Nvidia Shield TV emulated efforts. Thankfully, F-Zero GX and Soul Calibur 2 already ran at 60fps, but we're still stuck at 30fps in the case of Wind Waker. And, unfortunately, it does seem that for this 30fps cap, it's unevenly frame-paced in spots too, something to watch out for in other 30fps GameCube games. There's much more to see from the Purple Cube's catalogue on Nintendo Switch 2 beyond this initial smattering of games in the Direct, and we'll be sure to report back on each.